Hello, my name's Bob Willis, and welcome to Defect of the Month, uh, brought to you by the NPL Defect Database. Now, when you look at alternative components, which we have to do from time to time from a cost point of view, you must consider every aspect. And I found this out <laughs> recently when I changed a connector on a particular test board that I was using. Now, the test board, we were measuring surface installation resistance, SIR, and I'd changed the connector I was using because it was easier for me in the assembly process. It was also readily available and fairly low cost. However, the plastic body of the part, when in contact uh, with the test coupon, actually gave a considerably lower SIR value suggesting that we actually had failures on a product very early rather than an actual failure, if you like. Um, and it allowed the SIR value to drop considerably. But after failure analysis, we saw that there was no impact of the flux material or the assembly process. It was literally the plastic itself. So what we had to do is obviously revert to the original connector. So don't dismiss things, always think in detail when you look at alternative components, what you're going to be using and evaluate them properly before making that choice.